This week's webinar is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com, providing high-quality stock music for all of your video and film projects. Shuffle, published by Luca Visual Effects at LucaVisualEffects.com, available on their website or FX Factory, supports Final Cut 10. It's a $29 third-party plugin, and it's 10 templates that create dynamic image shuffle transitions. It animates clips or images by sliding, zooming, or random movement. It requires FX Factory. Again, remember, FX Factory is free. And you've seen this transition, and you've looked at it and said, that's way too much work. I don't want to do it myself. Now, you don't have to. Take a look. Here we have a, uh, a transition between the fiery furnace for melting glass and the actual glass itself being shaped by hand with sparks flying off. All right, cool. But it'd be really more dramatic if we could come up with some sort of a transition beside a cut, and it needs more than just a dissolve. It needs, it needs some emphasis. It needs punch. So we're going to go to, let's go to transitions. And let's go to Luca Visual Effects, and there's the FX Shuffle. We can shuffle in four directions. So let me show you the results first, and then give you the options. Second, I'm going to drag this over, and I'm going to set it as a default, Control-D. I'm going to set this as a three-second transition to make it long enough that you can see what's going on. I select the transition, and now I need to see some additional shots here, so let's go to here. And when I select this transition, notice that it's got a series of drop zones. A drop zone is a way to integrate an image into the effect. So I click on the first drop zone, and let's add, uh, let's see, where do we want to go? We'll add this one. Yep, we'll add that. And then we'll go to the second drop zone, and we'll add uh, this one. And then we'll go to the third drop zone, and we'll add... Uh, let's add this one, and we'll go to another drop zone, and we'll do, no, uh, we'll do that one, yep, and then we'll go to the fifth drop zone, and we'll do this one, and we'll click apply clip, because once you open a drop zone, you've got to apply it, but watch what happens, I'm going to play this in real time, then I'll do it in slow motion. Look at that. Now, let's make that a little bit quicker. We'll make it a two-second transition. Control-D, two seconds, and now play it. Wait for it to render, because it'll give me a drop frame error if I don't. So wait for it to render. Now we'll play this. Watch the effect. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we move on. Now I'm going to use the arrow key. Notice how it slides in the first image with a filter applied to it. The second image the third image, the fourth image, the fifth image, and then the final image. It gives us this, this transition. Now, we have control over the scale of the shots. We have control over whether they're tinted. If I don't want them tinted, I can turn the tint off, again, using the arrow key. Notice that it slides in with all the colors intact. We can adjust the hue of the tint, the saturation. We can add a motion blur or a prism blur. But it gives us the, the ability to have an entirely different look, which I could, in fact, edit inside Final Cut. It would probably take me about a minute to do each image. So I'm looking at six to ten minutes worth of work to put that transition together. Or, using a very simple plugin, I have control not only of can they slide left to right, or maybe they slide in from all four directions, or we have them slide in from random directions, or they slide in from right to left, and there are more. They can slip down, they can slip up, zoom in. You've seen this one a lot, where the images zoom in. That's really cool. Let's try that. Now, if I replace one image with another, I lose the drop zones. So we'll just um, highlight our transition here. So we'd have to fill the drop zones again. But as I move this across, there's image five, four, three, two, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, and there's our last image. These are some really very powerful effects that are 
easy to do with a plugin and much more time consuming to do with Final Cut. This plugin is called Shuffle and it's published by Luca Visual Effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 165. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.